Hey guys, it's Pop Culture Hero, and I am finally back to bring you some Dark of the Moon toy reviews. I could review anything, really, but I figured Dark of the Moon is something that I covered in my last video. Let's continue from that. Um, this is Cyberfire Bumblebee, who, uh, in robot mode, and, yeah, it's actually pretty clean. Uh, I don't like how hollow it is down in the middle here, uh, right here. It's pretty obvious when you get close to it. That is pretty hollow in robot mode, but it is one of the it is one of the easiest transformations uh, for Bumblebee among all the different Bumblebee molds. Yeah, there are actually several different versions of Bumblebee in sculpt and transformation in there. They've across these three movie lines, they've tried um, to make a Bumblebee that. The Bumblebee that transforms a little bit cleaner or with a few more features every time. Uh, so obviously he has a mech tech weapon, which is uh, the same gray gun that comes with the first version. I kind of like it extended. It, it does evoke sort of Bumblebee's plasma cannon in some details. It has a scope to it. It doesn't lock. And in this form, that little tip on the end is supposed to be a machine gun. Uh, it would be nice if it was actually colored like the crazy Cyberfire Deco, as we'll soon see. Uh, there's some flames on the top here in robot mode, and some flames on the back from most of the car paneling. But, uh, yeah, it, it's alright. Uh, these can go, these are pos optionally positional. Uh, there's a couple ways you can get them to move around. But, um, yeah, mostly a straightforward transformation. Um, the legs kind of work like the old Bumblebees. Uh, the overall transformation scheme is very closely based on Battle Blades Bumblebee from Hunt for the Decepticons. Um, but this color scheme is really neat. If you think it's a psychotic looking Bumblebee, just look at that red light piping on him. Just crazy. Combined with this red flame deco. And, uh, red win and the windows are also red for a nice G2 feel. Um, so I gotta like that. Um, the arms are pretty good. You do have a, a Bumblebee with two hands, which, uh, in, in this dark black looks, ooh, which in this dark black looks amazing. You can really get him into a pose. So let's move along to, um, articulation. You know, the head, arms do this. It can come in so that if you put a mech tech weapon over here on his arm, any 5mm port weapon will work. Um, that it will just um, go in and you can make it look sort of movie style. Nice little touch is that there are also 3mm clip ports right here on the arm, each arm. And that's so that you can use uh, weapons that come with more of the Human Alliance basics or uh, any of the Generations figures that came with 3mm port clip system weapons. I think I pretty much covered all the articulation to this. Not really a lot of foot movement um, because it's just a heavily modified, remolded version of that same spring-loaded leg concept, except not so much many parts move. Yeah, see, it just does that same thing that we're all used to, even though it is a different leg. It just does it in one swift automorph movement. And then this piece. Um, clicks down in a two-step. I'll try and be quiet while I do this, but I just want to point out that that automorph was a one-step kind of thing. Okay.
have it, mostly. Kind of have to get these oriented. Yeah, I think that's right. So, basically here's Cyberfire Bumblebee in his gorgeous Camaro mode. Just gonna show that off for a little bit. Just look at this Camaro mode alone. It's, if you're bored of the of the Bumblebee look by this point, um, this is the same mold that came out in Wave 1, by the way, of Dark of the Moon. So I've pretty much just reviewed the same toy physically. But Cyberfire Bumblebee has a way more interesting deco pattern. If I didn't mention it before, the one failing of this toy is that this gun should have been also recolored in the black and yellow. Because I do like this design of this gun with its kind of um, recoil. And uh, this, this piece up here kind of looks more hardcore modern uh, sci-fi um, pump action, I guess you could say. Neat thing is that the uh, windows fold away, and um, as I'll show you, pop this out, and you flip up the regular window. It has more of a crash window on the side normally, but if you just want to have an opening um, door scene for whatever reason, then uh, it looks kind of weird if you don't flip that window up. And it's mainly mainly to give the robot mode wings. Uh, more of uh, that proper movie look. Well, check that out. It's just blazing, and the and the application overall looks like it's uh, not really any smudges or anything. Just perfect tampograph. You can put the uh, gun into the spring-loaded peg on the top, just like on the uh, earlier version. So. You know, it's something. You could put other weapons up there if you're inclined. But I do like the red windows. Even in the back is a clear red window. Not just paint. So that is uh, so all kinds of great points. Absolutely perfect. Hubcaps are silver. I'm probably going too long on this, but hey. Um, Bumblebee. Cyberfire Bumblebee, I'd recommend it if you're looking for a deluxe Bumblebee right now.